Hi everyone, uh, as promised, it's two minutes past three, um, so we are going to start uh, the webinar. I'd like to thank everyone for joining today. Um, my name is Alex Fleming. I'm the Product Marketing Manager here at Speechmatics. Um, and for those of you who are not familiar with Speechmatics, we're a machine learning company that specializes in speech recognition. In its simplest form, we take voice and transform it to text. We do this fantastic levels of accuracy in over 31 different languages on premise or in the cloud to unlock the value of voice. This can be used in a variety of use cases from straight up transcription to captioning, especially in the contact center for organizations to use Speechmatics uh, as part of their tools to extract the value of voice and enrich their business processes. So this presentation was originally designed to be presented at the Contact Centre Expo in London earlier this month. This unfortunately has had to be pushed back to September, but we wanted to share the content and so we decided to create a webinar from it. So Speechmatics will be attending the Expo when it's rescheduled in September, but if we don't get a chance to speak to you before then, it would be great, great to um, meet some of you in person when it is rescheduled later on in the year and hopefully even shake some hands if we're able to. Um, this webinar will be around 25 to 30 minutes with an additional uh, 15 minutes for questions at the end. So I've done a brief introduction into who Speechmatics are, but I wanted to share some additional information with you guys and really about our vision and mission. And our vision really is to unlock meaning at scale using our machine learning expertise, which we lend to our automatic speech recognition product. Our mission clearly really is to set the standard when it comes to speech recognition. We use our Any Context speech recognition engine to empower our partners and companies to rapidly build innovative applications with voice. We work across loads of different sectors from contact centers, CRM, consumer electronics, security, media and entertainment and software. Essentially, wherever voice exists, that's where Speechmatics wants to be. And I've listed out some of our contact center partners here. It's not an exhaustive list, but it just gives you an idea of some of the partners that we work with. We're primarily based in Cambridge, even though at the moment uh, we're all working from home. Um, and we also have a presence in Denver, Colorado, in uh, Chennai in India, and Brno in the Czech Republic. So to get into the meat of what I wanted to talk about today, essentially the volume of voice data that contact centers deal with is massive. However, unlike any other channel of communication, voice holds a unique richness that no others do. Voice has the ability to enrich almost every function of the contact center. And the next half an hour or so, I'll try and provide some examples of this. For these reasons, I believe that voice remains the lifeblood when it comes to customer communication and engagement, and can not only save the contact center, but continue to ensure its success. But with this great volume of data, it also represents a challenge, a challenge that voice tech can help to solve in collaboration with organizations, as long as they remain both customer and agent centric. But what kind of volumes are we talking about here? So some rudimentary calculations expose that every year, there are almost 2.5 billion hours worth of calls that go through contact centers globally. And to frame that as a challenge, that's over twice as far back in time as the Stone Age. This is a huge number, and I want to look at this to frame the size of the challenge that contact centers and brands face when it comes to deriving insights in regards to the voice of the customer, creating better efficiencies and workforce optimizations, within not only the contact center, but their wider organizations to deliver better engagement with their customers, increase the speed of resolution for customer issues and reduce the cost of delivering best of breed services to their customers to increase their experience when interacting with contact centers and agents. A recent Microsoft study showed that 44% of those surveyed in the US said that they still prefer phone or voice as their primary source of a customer service channel. And that's 21% higher than any other available channel, with live chat coming in a second at 23%. This sheer volume of calls means that it's impossible for contact centers 
to find the kind of insight they need to hit their KPIs on their own. This has driven voice technologies to become more and more sophisticated, enabling contact centers to extract more granular data and at larger scale to not only enhance their own capabilities and KPIs, but those of the entire customer journey and value chain within their organizations that contact centers stand at the front line for. This massive call volume offers a fantastic opportunity for contact centers and brands though, who are essentially sat on a gold mine of information. You would think that contact centers would be an unbelievable place of strategic knowledge. However, sometimes this isn't the case. Contact centers are not necessarily seen as proactively strategic rather than reactively strategic. Often organizations leverage data delivered by analytics, for example, in the contact center for retrospective use cases because sometimes something's gone wrong and they want to know what and why. It's less likely that organizations will go to the contact centers to prevent an issue. However, this way of thinking is changing and it's changing rapidly with contact centers uniquely placed in an organization at the point in the customer journey where all the answers exist and can be extracted given the right tools and time the motivations to extract more and more insight from larger data sets to improve the customer experience, streamline the customer journey, and all while driving down cost has led to the induction, introduction of more and more voice enabled capabilities, including things like analytics, agent assist type solutions, sophisticated knowledge bases, and intelligent IVR solutions. But it's easy to overlook the, overlook the technologies and the products that fuel these kinds of solutions. Products like speech recognition and natural language processing. It's however these tools that are responsible at the first instance for transforming the richness of voice, not only of the customer, but of the agent too, into not only a text-based format, but a metadata and rich text format with all the relevant information to power the solutions that we've all come to know and love. Remember, it doesn't matter how good your analytics solution is. If the speech to text isn't best in class, all other solutions, including this, that you have deployed within your solution stack will be a disadvantage right from the word go. But voice technology is nothing new to the contact center. It's been around for a pretty long time from humble beginnings in pure call recording, initially motivated by compliance. Call recording was the first step, but created a huge amount of unstructured data. This, however, was the catalyst, which provided the fuel to create more sophisticated risk management capabilities. There's a common stat that less than 5% of all calls uh, are analyzed within the contact center due to the complexity and cost of performing this task for all audio files. Well, this is no real surprise when we're talking about billions of hours every year. The use of speech technology, speech to text, and the ingestion of this data into natural language processing tools means that high risk areas in customer interactions could be identified and enable improvements of agent training and reaction, minimizing potential compliance issues in the future, and most importantly, the associated costs around these. Let's not forget that while CX is currently the focus, cost will never disappear as a key factor and consideration as well as a motivator. Voice technology has the potential to significantly optimize the workforce. Much like how CX is the prime focus this year, when I was at the Contact Center Expo last year, actually, uh, it was all about deflection and how the poor use of agents' time is dealing with high volume, low value calls. Things like password resets came up quite often. So through analytics, contact centers can identify common issue trends and the most effective means of resolving these and to, to deliver data-driven insights on the best means to facilitate these issues in the future that might potentially be away from using an agent. Not only does this take a tactical look at understanding common customer issues, it also gathers insight on the most effective way to resolve the issues to improve the customer experience. This then enables contact centers to better understand the issues of the customer and deliver more targeted solutions to common issues in a way that doesn't necessarily require an agent's involvement. Additionally, for highly trained agents, this reduces their frustration. 
the potential of leaving their role, role due to feeling unfulfilled and reduces the cost of hiring, training and other operational costs of recruiting a replacement. With that said, contact centres are required to tread a very fine balance between automated solutions and remaining entirely customer centric. For example, a Microsoft study showed that 34% of respondents in the UK said that automated telephone systems, things like we see in IVRs, and the inability to reach a live person for a customer support was the most frustrating aspect of the customer service experience. The effect of speech tech can also have a significant impact on the speed of resolution and first contact resolution. A survey by, by PwC claimed up to 32% of customers are likely to stop doing business with a brand due to one poor experience. And the contact center just can't be the weak link in the CX where it falls down. Savvy users have an expectation when interacting with voice enabled contact center solutions due to their experience with voice tech now available through things like uh, consumer electronics, um, smart speakers, virtual assistants on mobile devices, and even voice bots that we're seeing more and more deployed in the contact center. But as previously mentioned, contact centers hold a unique and powerful position here. Delivering capabilities and frictionless voice experience can set the tone for the rest of an interaction. By capturing voice accurately and utilizing advanced natural language processing tools, Organizations can perform deep analysis of call content, but visualize key information like trend analysis, common topics across calls, and even pinch points in the longer customer journey, and many other factors dependent on specific KPIs or KPIs of specific teams within the contact center or the broader organization. This not only serves to highlight issues in the contact center operation, but also the entire customer journey. This means that brands can understand issues that are driving calls to their contact centers. They can provide better end-to-end -end experiences. They can optimize the effort of their agents and make them more available and all while reducing costs for their contact centers. Extracting as much information from voice is key. Knowledge is power and it always has been. And not fully understanding the issues of the customer leads them to calling back, longer resolution times, a bad experience and cost for the contact center. For this reason, first contact resolution has never been so important. I can guarantee that a CEO of an organization is not looking at a high call rate to their contact center as a great opportunity to learn more about their customers. Instead, they see cost. For this reason, extracting as much information as possible through conversations with customers is vital and using this data to fix issues they have both quickly and in a way that reduces similar issues coming to their contact centers is a win-win for customers and the contact center. So at that point, um, we're gonna pause a little bit um, and we wanna hear what you have to say about this. So uh, we've put a, a quick poll in here and essentially what we wanna know is in your role within your organization, which of the following are the biggest game changes that voice technology can bring? Now, there might not actually be um, you know, the answer on this list for you. And if that's not the case, um, we really wanna hear from you. you know, tell, us, tell us what those challenges are for you. Tell us what those things are that would really make a difference to you. But I'm really keen to understand really quickly, um, just to get a bit of feedback while we're on this. Okay, so, that's really interesting to see. So we've got about 67%. I know it's still coming in. This is great. Live feedback. So identifying risk and compliance issues is, is right up there at 55%, as well as improve the customer experience, which is what we thought. Um, that's fantastic feedback to get. Um, and it shows that um, you know monitoring those things are really, really important for you guys. And also how all of those things kind of fall into helping each other, you know you can provide a better experience by speeding up those, those issue resolution and also by identifying risk, you can understand where you can make improvements there to improve the agent experience and how they can um, you know, minimize compliance issues um, within the contact center. So that's great. Thank you very much guys for your feedback. That's, that's fantastic to get that, get that feedback. Okay, so we will continue. 
So at the end of last year, Speechmatics conducted our own research, much like uh, you guys were helping us do there in the poll, to better understand the key drivers within the contact centres. At the top of the list, um, when we did that piece of research, mirrored what we've seen from the poll, which is to better improve customer experience. So actually callers and customers have never been so spoiled for ways to interact with brands and contact centers that perform the frontline service when it comes to dealing with customers. Well, omni-channel text-based formats deliver significant value in the ease of use or even speed. When it comes to customers being unhappy, nine out of 10 times, they're gonna pick up the phone. They say that smooth seas don't make good sailors. And I certainly live by, I live by that motto. And this is certainly true when it comes to improving customer experience. More than ever, contact centers should be looking at evaluating voice data that holds the most challenging issues and with the toughest amount of rigor to understand when they perform well, but more importantly, when they perform badly. For this reason, contact centers need the best tools to deliver insight to ensure that as much intelligence as possible is extracted from calls and enable them to learn lessons. A report by Core Miner recently discovered that the cost of customer churn could reach over $130 billion for US businesses. It's never been so easy and fast to switch providers, no matter your product or service. And so loyalty has never been so important. Contact centers play a crucial role here, which is why customer CX is so important and crucial to get right. But speech tech isn't only about analytics. Transcription powers the ability to enhance the capability of agents with minimal effort. From automatic capturing of accurate interaction notes to voice enabled menu navigation or hybrid synthetic human agents. Speech technology is the first crucial step for understanding the voice of the customer and using it to deliver better experiences while reducing cost in the contact center. There's no denying the value and opportunity of voice tech within the contact center. The CX market alone is set to be worth an expected 36.8 billion US dollars by the end of 2024, that's massive. But there are some barriers to entry and some challenges to adoption. Our research highlighted that the expectation around some of these solutions is that they can be complex, expensive, and hard to integrate. Well, this is understandable and can be true of large providers who deliver large end-to-end -end enterprise type solutions. These might require a great deal of systems integration work to ensure that they work seamlessly with other solutions that might be deployed either in the contact center already or within a solutions provider's portfolio. As speech technology continues to evolve, providers of these solutions and products need to be aware of these types of challenges and ensure that their solutions are developed to consider and deliver things like operational ease, be easy to operate, a, be able to deliver a fast route to market and enable the people using them to recognize ROI as quickly as possible. Cost is always a factor. Solutions should remain cost effective and consider not just the capability and cost of the product and solution, but any associated costs around storage of audio and text-based files, as well as any hosting or operational costs. Integration simplicity. Things should be easy to integrate into an existing solution stack. Things like APIs make this a lot easier for people to do. As always, accuracy is a really important factor here. Delivering the highest levels of performance from the smallest possible software footprint. Accuracy is an also a very good one to look into and also interrogate very, very um, in deeply, depending on the requirements of the product. Accuracy can mean a lot of things to a lot of different people, whether that's word error rate accuracy, whether that's the accuracy of how it, things are formatted. It should be investigated deeply whenever solutions uh, claim to be accurate and what exactly accuracy means to those people and what it means to you. Solutions should be able to be deployed anywhere. They should also be able to be deployed anywhere securely, in the cloud or on-premise, and enable solutions to conform to the regulations the buyers of these types of solutions are governed by. With the developments in operational simplicity, 
flexible deployment options, more languages, better accuracy across those languages, and a greater focus on data security, contact center solution providers are empowered like never before to integrate and leverage third-party products that specialize in a chosen field to uplift the capabilities of their own solutions. This enables the ability to develop their own modular strategies, picking best of breed services to not only ensure they remain at the top of their field, but deliver value to their customers. And this is how Speechmatics enables our partners to innovate with voice. It's down to our leading levels of accuracy across all of our languages, the features that we add to our product on a regular cadence, and the ability deployed and integrated quickly that we can optimize the solution of our partners and in turn the contact centers to deliver on their KPIs. Omnichannel solutions make the interactions much simpler and faster for customers looking for support and advice. While in recent years, omnichannel experiences have grown in popularity, more than ever, the value of voice is evident. In a recent survey by one of our partners, Redbox, they called out that more than three quarters of organizations believe that a voice first strategy will be in place in less than five years, showing a clear shift towards recognizing the value of the spoken word. A vital part of the customer experience is able to have a fully joined up experience, whether accessing a brand's website, using a chat tool, or connecting with an agent in the contact center. Voice tech enables omni-channel services to be properly omni by eliminating the separation between text-based formats like SMS, email, instant messaging, or even ch chatbots and voice data. Actually, it's probably more of an alignment than an elimination, as voice can be transformed into text and with other channel data, all be leveraged by the contact center and the solutions that use these text-based formats. But how is this possible? Well, this is where sophisticated speech-to-text services come in, meaning that the investment made in things like natural language processing tools can be used to derive insight from 100% of the interactions no matter, no matter their channel, mode, or vector. A properly joined up omni-channel capability in the contact center also means that agents can be fully aware of a customer's previous interactions from what they bought, what they emailed about, and their conversations they've had in a call. Additionally, through transcription of previous calls, agents can see the customer journey with other agents, no matter their channel of engagement. This means that callers don't have to repeat themselves as well. They don't have to repeat personal details, order data, any issues they're having or problems, and other facts that the contact center really should know already, as these will deepen the caller's frustration and lengthen the call time. Using information exposed through automatic speech recognition type services, agents can deliver a more personal experience by understanding more about that caller simply and easily, as well as leveraging the automatic capabilities of automatic speech recognition to reduce their workload. Things like eliminating agent wrap up is a key value point here. Automating the capture of interaction history has the potential to increase the availability of agents by up to 30%. Call handling times can be reduced, making calls cheaper and meaning agents can handle more calls and improve fulfillment of both the customer by getting a more personalized and targeted experience and eliminating a tedious task for the agent. Essentially, the inclusion of voice tech makes agents more available, calls can be shorter and therefore cheaper. Voice technology is often the first stage in the customer journey and natural language processing tools have seen significant advancements in recent years that all require text-based input. Whether you're doing things like analytics, IVR, operating a virtual agent or chatbot, providing an agent assist type solution, or even doing something like workflow triggering of keywords in a conversation automatically, the ability to capture as much of the conversation is key and capturing that accurately. 
For this reason, contact centers and solutions providers alike need to understand the product that they rely on within their solution portfolios and the value that they can directly offer through these kinds of solutions. Products like, uh, products like ASR, for example, especially in the case of solutions providers, need to ensure that their solutions are consistently aligned with the needs of the users and ensure they keep pace with the rapidly changing landscape. When it comes to voice, there are plenty of things that are really important. Languages and accents. So not only having uh, as, you know, uh, lots of languages that you can be using to address a global market, but also understanding different elements of those languages, their accents, dialects, and providing an accurate uh, capability when it comes to those. Transcription accuracy, we touched upon this a little bit earlier, and that's low word error rates, but it's also concentrating if you're using those services for agents to interact with directly. Is it easy for those agents to read what's being, what's being transcribed? Do those transcription outputs have proper punctuation in it to enable those agents to read it quickly and effectively? Do they transcribe numbers correctly in a way that fits with other solutions within the stack? Do they transcribe numbers as digits or do they transcribe them as words? And does it matter? Also, do they play well with other types of solutions that you want to integrate or might already be integrated? Things like sentiment analysis tools. And do these kinds of things work together and effectively? All these questions are really important to get right when it goes to looking at a solution that works end to end. And also the operational modes. Can you transcribe archive data, but also do you have the capabilities to transcribe in real time? So this, does the solution that you provide already do that? Or do you need to look at specific providers who can provide that type of service? These are all kinds of considerations that need to be understood. So in conclusion, and to wrap up this webinar, voice shouldn't be considered just as a tactical problem for engaging with end users or feeding an analytic solution, for example. For businesses, it's all about conversations and engagements, not only with customers, but internally. If companies aren't thinking about voice as part of their digital transformation project, then they're missing out. People should be looking at all communication touch points and use the right communication methods to improve workflows and efficiencies for themselves internally, as well as just for their customers. Organizations shouldn't be focused outside the contact center but look inside it at their own communication processes and mechanisms. Consider internal company communications, meetings, employee workflows, etc. All of these have a part to play in a voice strategy that can be achieved through the proper application of speech technology, helping organizations, including their contact centers, to grow and succeed. So, can voice save the contact center? Well, I'd like to think so, and I really hope so. Almost all sectors of the contact center are expected to show growth as we move into the, into the future. And I think the voice technology has a part to play in this, as well as being a huge motivator. As I mentioned, the volume of voice data is massive. Solutions that fuel data-driven decision-making from historical archives are valuable. However, the ability to deliver real-time services while calls are actually taking place in real time will be key. Not only will this enable better customer and caller experiences, but experiences for agents too. But this is just the start. Voice has the scope to provide the capabilities far beyond the contact center and into the for wider audiences within organizations. So wanna know more about products like transcription and how they can be a game changer to you and your organization? We want you to get in touch. We would love to know more about your use cases, your challenges, and your vision of the future, and explore how Speechmatics can help you potentially innovate with voice. With that, I want to thank you for joining the webinar today. Um, we've been collating some um, questions as we've uh, moved through the webinar, um, and I will uh, try and address some of those um, now. So. 
um, someone would like a copy of the deck. So um, yeah, I'll have to talk to uh, Ben and the team, uh, and I'm sure he can make that available to you. Um, bear with me a second. Let me find the questions. Okay, so um, I've got a couple of questions in regards to um, the advances in uh, voice uh, voice to text. How far away from speaker identification or diarization? Um, so that's a great question, and it kind of um, it depends on what you mean by speaker identification or diarization. So diarization is already available within uh, the Speechmatics product. Uh, we have both speaker diarization uh, and we have channel diarization, um, but often people um, would like it to identify speakers as this speaker is Alex Fleming or um, this speaker is Stephen Fry, for instance, and those are quite different things. Um, but we already have uh, speaker diarization uh, within the product. We actually have an active beta program going on at the moment where we are looking at improving this capability. Um, and so hopefully very soon we'll be rolling out an improvement to that. But Speaker diarization for a mono channel, for instance, um, seeing where one speaker finishes and another begins. And then channel diarization is an ability to uh, transcribe multiple channels within an audio file. And then um, you stitch those together. And so if you allocate a channel per speaker, um, then that enables you to have a better understanding of when those speakers were speaking within an audio file. Um, there is another question in regards to uh, can you help deaf people with this kind of technology? Um, the answer is is yes. Uh, some of um, Speechmatic's partners are actually uh, very in invested in this kind of application of our technology. And accessibility is a topic um, to Speechmatic's and our partners, which we care deeply about. Um, and it's something that we'll try and you know, we try and do as much as we can to help those kind of situations. Uh, we actually have an active project at the moment where we are um, helping someone uh, within education remain in education um, while unfortunately they are losing their hearing um, and this was um, you know uh, a use case that came to us as an individual and, and we tried everything we could to ensure that we could help them remain in the education process so yes we care very deeply about how this technology can help people with hearing hearing issues um, so there's another question here about uh, how are advanced analytics accurate uh, identifying emotion in the context of speech? So uh, identifying emotion is uh, a topic that comes up quite a lot in regards to sentiment analysis. Um, to be clear, Speechmatics doesn't provide uh, sentiment analysis as a product um, and at the end of last year, one of our machine learning engineers, Sam Ringer, did a great talk um, at one of their shows. Uh, and I echo his comments by saying that um, I believe that sentiment analysis still has some distance to go um, before it can deliver a lot of the value that people would like it to. But it's certainly on the track um, to being a, a really fantastic and usable solution within the contact center. Um, words and the transcription of words and the metadata around there um, will play a, a key role uh, in that um, but uh, yeah we are working with a number of partners who are investing in this kind of technology and using speechmatics transcription uh, as a means of fueling those kinds of solutions um, do you offer single or multi-channel diarization within your contact center applications yes we do uh, as i mentioned earlier we support um, channel and speaker diarization we have a single product solution uh, which we apply uh, no matter the use case i mentioned before um, we have single uh, language offering uh, especially for our global english and that applies to a lot of our other uh, languages as well where we don't have separate language packs per language that specialize in certain accents or dialects we have uh, globalized uh, language packs, um, so um, these can be applied and they come with all of the features and capabilities that we offer, of which um, speaker and channel diarization uh, are included within our batch. In real time, we have a feature called speaker change, which is um, a way of identifying when we believe or when the engine believes um, the speaker has changed. Um, there's a really interesting 
question here um, about um, three reasons uh, the future of contact center might be in jeopardy. Um, personally, um, I don't uh, I don't think that the contact center is in jeopardy. In fact, um, research shows that almost every part of the contact center is showing um, pretty significant growth and will continue to show growth moving into the future, which is incredibly positive. Um, though I do believe that sometimes the slow adoption of some kinds of technology uh, can potentially slow this growth. Um, you know, things like uh, speech to text, ASR, were kind of considered at one time of being, um, you know, not quite there, really good at being demoed at shows, but when they put into real world situations, they struggled. But this really isn't the case anymore. Um, speech to text, ASR has matured a lot over recent years and can really deliver fantastic value um, and enrich a great deal of use cases. Um, so yeah, I, I think that um, that might be uh, an issue. You know, people talk about AI um, quite broadly, uh, and sometimes uh, you can get swept up in in lots of AI type things that may not actually represent the AI that we uh, that we need. So yeah, that's one of the things. Um, also, I think that um, people should be considered, you know, customers and agents. It's really important to deliver services that meet the needs of both the customer as well as the agent. We talk a lot about customer experience and optimizing their experience. Um, and I think one of the ways that we can optimize their experience is by giving them um, you know, a better service from, from the agents that they get. And so empowering agents um, is really, really important. So uh, that's something that I think uh, we can do. Um, also another thing, uh, is personal data. I think that that's something that is incredibly important to consider, um, not only uh, where data is captured, but where it's stored and making sure that solutions and products are um, stored and operated in, in the right areas and solution providers provide the flexibility to enable that to happen. Um, what are the main frustrations and challenges contact centers are experienced that Speechmatics can solve? which ways enable them to capture data insights relevant to the entire organization. So I think that this is a really broad topic and it's one of those things that we work very, very closely with our partners uh, and we try and do quite a lot of outreach to the market as well um, to understand where those frustrations and challenges are. Um, the research that we did at the end of last year identified a number of those. Um, so you can see those within the presentation deck and also your own feedback, right? So. Um, I think one of the challenges is how we up, uplift that customer experience. Uh, and I think that speech technology has a big part to play in capturing the voice of the customer and the agent and providing insights to enable um, contact centers and those solutions providers to have all that data accurately captured and in a way uh, that they can then action off the back of it. Um, but we're always open. We want to hear more about your use cases, uh, any challenges that you have, um, and then how we can facilitate those. And even if we have to build different things into our product solution, you know, we're always open to hearing about what features do we need to include in our solution uh, to help you uh, with yours. Um, I'm just looking through some additional questions. Um, Chatbots, okay, great. Uh, as a chatbot and voice strategist, I'm particularly interested in the status of advanced voice communication, the possibilities confirming, adding, changing personal information. Okay, so chatbots are a really interesting topic and one that has become incredibly popular after the, over the last kind of couple of years. Um, so we we you know have done a bit of work to better understand um, you know how chatbots can be used, um, and while they leverage ASR type technology, the way that you interact with a chatbot and the requirements that a transcription has for a chatbot can be very different um, to trans transcribing a full conversation. So a full conversation would use long form um, ASR, whilst a chatbot often the interaction is quite short. So I like what we call a command and control type uh, interaction. And so when developing things like chatbots, um, ASR providers need to ad adapt. Uh, they need to um, 
use things like constrained grammars they need to understand what the questions are that are being asked uh, of those chatbots and ensure that they can provide a service that facilitates the requirements and that's what i mentioned kind of in the presentation as well where solutions providers really need to consider what are the requirements because whilst long form speech to text and chatbots are still using a transcription capability the requirements are very very different and so um, by looking at these and understanding the requirements here um, you know it's important to understand what is required from those solutions and ensuring the transcription capability that they offer is going to work in those situations so that kind of brings me to the end um, of the questions uh, that we've got um, i'd like to thank everyone um, for joining the the webinar today it'd be great to hear your feedback thank you very much for listening today and with that i'm going to draw it to a close so again thank you very much and have a great day thank you